Here I have a 10 foot, 31 inch wide, 56 pound fishing kayak. This is a sit on top kayak and I'd like to easily be able to transport it from a vehicle down a boat ramp and into the water without having to carry it too far. So I went to my local outdoor supplier and looked at wheeled carts that are designed to help move kayaks and I was a little surprised that the price was around seventy or eighty dollars for the only ones available so I decided why not just uh, make one. The tools we'll be using for this project are a heat gun and a hacksaw. Our materials for this project are going to be this ab wheel exercise device purchased at a big box store for about five dollars and eighty eight cents I think it was. We'll need one uh, piece of three quarter inch schedule 40 PVC pipe and a short piece of dowel rod is helpful as well. And in this ab wheel box you get these two plastic wheels. You also get this axle that has one of the handles already on the axle and we're just going to put this dowel rod inside this axle and knock that handle off. So I've just got the dowel rod inside there and I'm just going to tap it until it comes off. We just need this axle. So now we've got this metal axle and our three quarter inch PVC pipe and our two wheels. And that's the materials we'll need for this project. Next thing we want to do is take the little axle that came in the ab wheel kit and find the center and put a mark on the center of the ab wheel axle and then we're going to cut straight across there to make two short pieces. So I just cut that axle in half with a hacksaw and I have two equal lengths and we'll use those for axles. Next thing we want to do is measure from one end of our three quarter inch pipe and make a mark at 65 inches and we want to cut straight across that 65 inch mark. Next we want to find the center of our 65 inch piece of PVC pipe which is 32 and a half and place a mark there. Once we've located and marked the center of our 3 quarter inch PVC pipe we want to travel each direction on the PVC and mark one mark at 13 and a half then we want to measure from each end and make a mark at 6 inches. Next we're going to use our heat gun and at each one of these two marks on the ends of our PVC pipe we're going to bend at 90 degree angles and we're going to bend it around a piece of dowel rod to make a smooth transition from flat and straight to a 90 degree angle and we're going to do that at each one of these marks that we made but not at the center mark and we'll start by bending one of these lines that we made and we're going to bend it straight across this dowel rod. So we're just going to hold it and rotate it an inch or two away from our heat gun until it gets soft. And we're going to move it back and forth so it's traveling a couple of inches on each side of that line. The heat is warming the pipe about that much. Staying focused on where our line was. We're just going to heat this until it gets soft. Trying to stay even on both sides of the line. 
So now we can see it's pretty pliable. I'm going to give it a little more heat. Now I'm just going to fold it right around this line at 90 degrees while pressing down with the dowel rod to make a nice 90 degree angle like that. If you can see it like that. And I'm using these print letters as a reference to keep it at 90 degrees. Just going to hold it there until it cools for a minute. Trying to keep it as close to 90 degrees as possible. And that should be close enough for that bend. And you'll notice my mark is right here. Now that this corner has had an ample opportunity to cool and it's pretty stiff, I'm going to do the same thing to this lower mark right here. You try not to spend too much time in one spot and burn the PVC. You just want to get it soft evenly around. Once you think you've got it, just test it. I'm getting close. Just going to give it a couple more seconds. I can see it's starting to flex on its own now. Now I'm going to take my dowel rod, place it right on my mark, press down, and then fold the end up and try to get it at 90 degrees. And just hold it a little while until it cools. Once it's had a little while to cool, you can take the dowel rod out, set it against something, and just hold it until it gets cool or angle it so it stays that way. And I'm keeping this as close to 90 degrees as I can. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect because it'll line itself up when we're done. And you can see I've got two angles now on this end and I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. This is the shape you want to end up with from your 65 inch piece of 3 quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. Just bending it in four places to make a squared off C shape. The next thing we want to do is measure our axle that we cut in half and place a mark at two inches on each axle. So we have two inch marks on each of those axles. Two inches from the end. Then we're going to heat the short ends of our PVC pipe and slide each axle up in there while it's hot up to those lines. Now we're going to insert this axle piece down inside this three-quarter inch pipe by warming it enough to make it soft and get it far enough down in there to that two inch mark. And to do that I'm just going to heat at least about three inches of this PVC pipe trying not to get down on the elbow that we previously bent. And just heat it until it softens. Don't try not to overheat it too much. And then find your mark. Quickly find your two inch mark and shove it down in there until it, it's right at that mark. That's good. So now I'm two inches down inside there and I'm going to repeat that on the other side. Now we put both wheels on the axles that we just installed and we want to take a measurement to make this spread a little but not too far, just tight. I'm going to cut a piece of this PVC pipe that was left over from our previous cut and then heat both ends and install it on here. So now I've cut this piece at 12 and a half inches. I'm going to heat both ends and slide it over each axle. And I'm just heating a little bit more than I need to cover the distance of each axle that's left hanging out. Now I'm just heating up the pipe that I'm going to put onto the axle. Heating about four inches of it. So it's nice and pliable. 
That should be pretty good right there. I'm going to hold it at an angle and just twist it on until it goes all the way flush. Then I'm going to spread it so it will cool while it's straight. Once this side has had a chance to cool all the way down, I'm going to warm this end and then force it on there as well. I'm going to go ahead and warm this end up about three or four inches of it. Trying to get it all the way around as I can. Just getting it soft enough. got that soft enough slip it up in there try to get it to straighten up as much as possible hold it as straight as you can and just let it cool to install the cart over a kayak end just slide it on as far as it'll go and you'll notice the wheels will ride at that position and the piece of PVC pipe under the bottom side will press against the bottom of the kayak. So to keep it at the angle that it needs which is with the wheels facing toward the end of the kayak and so the piece is slanted like that I took a bungee cord and just put it in the middle tied a loop in it because it was a little too long to make it short enough and then fastened it to this hook point behind the seat the last thing I did was I took an old mouse pad and just uh, duct taped it around this bottom center pipe this shows how much wheel clearance you have underneath the kayak when it's on the ground these are the two handles that came with the ab wheel kit and they did have a piece of round foam padding and I just slipped that off of each one of these and it's three quarter inch size so it makes a nice uh, very tight foam padded handle grip for the kayak paddle. <laughs> 